Sorry, not sorry. Can't take advice from people who are bottom line, not even as attractive as me. Whatever you are, your world is yours. It's more complex than that simple statement because a lot of people would jump into the artificial nature of that or the superficial nature of that. Attractive, what does that mean? How cute, how handsome, how... Nah, 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 nah. I'm talking about behaviorally. I'm talking about functionally. I'm talking about existentially. Whatever you are, your world is yours. You gotta understand. I'm an individual who has 40,000 plus followers. Sometimes Instagram will push my content to everybody. Sometimes it won't, whatever. I'm not counting those numbers, you know what I'm saying? We see that I'm putting out my message and there are people that are observing me as I make this message. So understand that if you're just a normie out there, you are not going to be able to fully empathize unless you can transcend your petty ego to understand that, hold on, this individual is putting out a message amongst thousands of people. And amongst these thousands of people, there are some real derelicts out here who really think that their opinions are valid enough for me to accept it. Listen. A lot of people are gonna try to say that you're arrogant. A lot of people are gonna try to say a whole bunch of stuff that's meant to basically mentally stop you. But it's incontestably more arrogant for you to assume that I should listen to you to stop listening to me when your life has way more complications, way more stress, way more undesired circumstances, way more unsolved problems than my life. Whatever you want, your world is yours. I'm the most solutionary, evolutionary individual in the sphere that I know. You know what I'm saying? And there are some top dogs out here, but when it comes to this existential clarity, whatever you are, your world is yours. Shiki Shiki is the top of the top. You feel me? And it's really like that. Only thing I don't have is a copious amount of money yet, right? And now we're fixing that because that's the thing. So many people would denounce money. So many people would denounce spirituality. So many people are just living life on incomplete terms. Whatever you are, your world is yours. I tell y'all all the time, level up in all areas and all aspects. Now we're focused on because I've already created this high level individual. There's nobody that can speak on the subject matters that I can speak on, on any subject matter at this fact, you feel me? At the level that Shiki Shiki is able to speak on and it's reflected in the progress and everything that I've ever put out. If you feel like you got something to say, then please say it. But at the end of the day, we're putting out this clarity for these individuals who seek the clarity, who seek the wisdom, who seek the understanding. Once you realize everybody's life is a product of their own coaching, everybody's life is a product of their own taking their own advice daily, most people just fail to recognize that, well, there are people out here who have better circumstances, better effects, better conditions being produced in their lives because they have better advice to have. They're giving themselves better advice. Whatever you are, your world is yours. If you out here fat, sloppy as fuck, I'm not taking no advice from you. The fact that you even tolerate and accept that shit from yourself just indicates that your mindset is fucked. Whatever you are, your world is yours. It's really like that. If you're not out here trying to increase your income, if you're not out here literally trying to get yourself some more money, you know what I'm saying? If you're living on fractional income reserves and you're just out here trying to be an employee for the rest of your life, I can't take advice from you. Your mindset is fucked. It's limited. It's not growing. Whatever you are, your world is yours. If you out here still spiritually, emotionally, mentally, psychologically dependent on a substance for your own composition, for your own composure in this life, if you can't function without a substance outside of your spirit, I can't take advice from you because basically you're a slave. It's really like that. You have problems that I don't have. So y'all need to start to recognize this. Be able to take advice from people who are doing better than you. That starts with being able to admit that people are doing better than you. I've always been able to take advice from people who are doing better than me. And this is why I've become a better version of myself. Whatever you want, your world is yours. The only thing that I do not have is a copious amount of money. And that's because what? Money has way more confound variables attached to it than personal mastery, than self-control. Many people make a lot of money because they're in social situations. You could sell your ass for money. You could compromise your integrity for money. You could sell out your soul for money. Money ain't really that hard to get. But to get money without selling your soul, to make money without your soul being empty, making money with a point where you're not even a slave to money, that's a whole different level of acquisition. Whatever you want, your world is yours. It's so many sellouts. 
It's not about the money. It's not about just the spirit. It's about everything. But the baseline of everything is having principle, integrity, and morality to the point where you know you never sold out for shit. I'm handsome as fuck. I'm going to keep this shit gangster as a motherfucker. Yo, you don't understand how many opportunities I've had to sell my ass to get money. You don't think motherfuckers is out here trying to get a piece of the shiki chic? You must be stupid. You feel me? And I've been in particular predicaments where I've been offered money that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm never selling out. I'm going to show the world that you can make it, you can become affluent, you can become prosperous without selling out your values, your morals, your integrity, your principles, and your motherfucking soul. Why do you why your world is yours? If you fat and you settling for that, you basically selling out to your feelings. You would sell out for some Twinkies and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's really like that. You would sell out for some sleep. You would sell out just for ease and comfort you feel me whatever you why your world is yours if you out here on drugs and you selling out your spirit you selling out your personal master you selling out your autonomy you selling out your independence energetically just for a feeling in the moment then you a sell out if you out here making money but you out here on the back ends really a fraud then you a sell out on the back ends and you really a fraud whatever you why your world is yours only the real people in this life are going to be able to resonate with me. You feel me? And I'm at the point where literally I've put my personal development before money. And you can tell. Why do you why your world is yours? I left money to be the last pillar of my personal development for me to master. Because at this point, like I said in my wall post, I have everything that the world could ever want. And I have everything that you cannot buy. Why do you why your world is yours? Everything that I have, everything that I possess, the self-mastery, the enlightenment, being sober, being fit, being enlightened to the degree that I'm on can only be taught. It can't be bought. Evolution can be guided, can't be provided. I tell you that all the fucking time. You feel me? So at the end of the day, I have the things in life that you cannot purchase or be handed. Now that I have this level of mental mastery, spiritual mastery, intellectual mastery, what else is there to do for me on this planet? Big bro said, we only see what's left to be done. Why do you why your world is yours? I only see what's left to become. You know what I'm saying? And I've become this highly valuable individual in the cosmos. Now, my thing is, I don't operate on the plane of ego. I don't live from my ego. Everybody knows that I live from my soul. Bro, I'm 6'6". Six, six. I got muscles. I'm a handsome as motherfucker. I got a lot of swag, you feel me? I can operate from ego really easily, you know what I'm saying? And you stack egos up, motherfuckers' egos is not on my level, you feel me? I have a well-justified ego in a lot of respects. I'm not operating from there. I want you to win. I want you to grow. I want to see you become beautiful in your own right. You let your soul shine. You develop your gift, and you give that shit to the world. But most importantly, I want to see you live your life without selling out like a motherfucker. Why do you why your world is yours? I put the game out here all day. I'm here to help the individuals who are seeking the knowledge. YWI, your world is yours. It's not hard to make money in this world, but it's definitely more difficult and more respectable to make money without being a fraud, without selling out, and without having a shallow ass soul. Trust me, y'all saw me in the condo. Million dollar conversations, million dollar network. It's really like that. There are people who are rich, who are empty as fuck. So money is not a means to happiness. Money doesn't create value in an individual. So, but people who are out there who are ready to say, well, I'm not gonna get, fuck that, get money. I'm saying, don't sell out. Don't figure that money is the most important. What's most important is your personal development. What's most important is you having integrity to your existence. What's most important is that you become a greater version of yourself. Whatever you why your world is yours. It's really like all of this. Now you can fuck with them and you can have that marginal partial shit. Whatever you why your world is yours. The universe is impartial. Shiki Sheik is impartial. I don't want any partialities. I want wholesome. I want to be whole. I want to be complete. I want to be full. Whatever you why your world is yours. It's really like that. Everything is mindset. You feel me? So whatever you why you could do what you want to do in this world. Alaykum dinkum waliya deen. But at the end of the day, I can't take advice from motherfuckers who's really not operating on the level and degree that I'm operating on. I can't take advice from sellouts. I can't take advice and, and any type of consolation from individuals whose lives have way more problems. I have one of the highest degree of existential clarity on the planet. I can say that. Y'all can, can attest to that. It is what it is, right? So now it's a matter of 
who's ready to be able to say, hmm, I need existential clarity because without existential clarity, what do you have? Existential confusion. Existential confusion leads to existential problems. Why be why your world is yours? I've solved all the existential problems. Only thing left to do is deliver and, and give this to the people who are actually out there. Why be why your world is yours? It's really like all of that. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, if you want to work, let's work. Motherfuckers out here be thinking that they're gonna be millionaires and they so afraid to spend 50, 200, 500, 1,000, 10,000 dollars. You won't have a millionaire mindset. That's broke motherfucker mindset. Get on the group, get around the energy, get around the mentality. Go back into the world and realize all these motherfuckers are straight up frauds and broads. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you are, your world is yours. I ain't never selling out for shit. You niggas got my word and that's what it is. All my people on my team, Got my word, and that's all it is. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Are you going to see what you need to be, follow through with action, and do what needs to be done? Or are you going to be like all these other motherfuckers who settle in for some bullshit? Whatever you are, your world is yours. Consider vibrations raised. Evolution, the only solution. Self-mastery, the only success. You already know what the fuck it is. Discipline is the only self-love. Discipline is the only freedom. And it's really like all of that shit. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Fuck with the real and you will become real. Fuck with the fake and you will be fake. It's really like that.